everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Saint Hippolytus of Rome was known until a year before his death in the year 236 as the Antipope. Not a flattering title if you ask me. This wasn't because he was against a papal throne altogether, but because he thought the papal throne was so far in the wrong that he needed to take matters into his own hands and declared himself the new Bishop of Rome. Beginning in the third century, the church began to become overwhelmed with heretical teachings as everyone intentionally sought out how to interpret the faith, but usually fell short in their understanding of theology. Hippolytus himself fell victim to one of the heretical schisms called Novatism, believing that anyone who denied their faith under persecution wasn't able to seek forgiveness except from God directly himself. Pope Zephyrinius wanted to keep the peace among all believers by not making either side upset. He kept quiet about clarifying church teachings, hoping the confusion would solve itself. But Hippolytus grew restless at the lack of authority the passive pope was showing and took matters into his own hands. He officially left the Roman Catholic Church and declared himself the true bishop of Rome after Pope Zephyrinius' passing. Years went by and tension remained without reconciliation between the schism. It wasn't until the prefect of Rome desired even more Christian brutality that would change everything for Hippolytus. Hippolytus would soon trade in his anti-pope title and instead be remembered as a martyr. He, along with the actual pope, Pope Pontinatius, and many other bishops were quickly arrested as the heads of the church and cruelly treated in prison. It was at this time that Hippolytus' followers pleaded for his guidance. Instead of saying something along the lines of keeping your head held high and not regretting anything against those who had opposed them for so long, he humbly had a metanoia and encouraged his followers to preserve the unity of the church. He publicly said that he now saw the pains that his teachings had brought to Christ's bride and that it had to come to an end. Days later, he received his martyrdom. The judge knew that none of the Christians arrested would rebuke the faith, and so he instantly sentenced them all to unique deaths, saving Hippolytus for last. Right before he was executed, he cried out, Lord, they tear my body, receive my soul. It's crazy to think that someone who had caused so much division in the church would still be recognized in the same breath as a saint. The truth of the matter is St. Hippolytus turned back to Christ. What separated Peter's faith from Judas's? Both disciples abandoned Christ when he needed them the most, but Peter turned back to Christ while Judas kept running away. This is how God's mercy works for all of us. He knows that we will fall and drift away in our journey throughout life because of our human nature and free will. But what he desires most for each of us is to come running back to his loving arms, seeking forgiveness and healing. St. Hippolytus of Rome, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.